By the end of this video, you'll know how to send and receive cryptocurrencies using the Crypto.com app. I'll go step by step and turn you from a novice to an expert in under 10 minutes. If you stick around until the end, I'll show you how to find the fees you will expect to pay using Crypto.com and exactly where to find them all. The most common question I get asked on my channel is how to send Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies to another platform, app, exchange or wallet. So in this example, I have the Crypto.com app and I have some Bitcoin that I want to transfer to my Exodus wallet for safekeeping. The first and probably most important thing you should know is you can only send the currency you want to send to that same currency's wallet. Well, what the hell does that mean? Only send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin wallet and only send Ethereum to an Ethereum wallet and so on and so forth. The only instance where this is acceptable is never. Don't try it please. If you send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address, just say goodbye to it forever. So first log into your Crypto.com app and tap the Accounts tab across the bottom. This brings you to your whole crypto portfolio. For me, I'm sending Bitcoin, so I click on Bitcoin. Along the top here, you can see three buttons, Buy, Sell and Transfer. They're pretty self-explanatory. And you guessed it, the Transfer button is for transferring. But don't get too ahead of yourself because the transfer button does more than just transfer Bitcoin out of your account, it's also used to transfer Bitcoin in to your account. So let's hit the transfer button and see what pops up. Deposit means any Bitcoin that you want to put into your Crypto.com account. Clicking deposit brings up your Bitcoin wallet address that's associated with your Crypto.com account. Remember, if you use other wallets, the address will be different. If you have someone that wants to transfer you some Bitcoin, you can either flash them this QR code or you can copy this long string of numbers and letters across the bottom and send them that. For the opposite way around, sending Bitcoin, we just cross out of this page and then hit transfer again and this time withdraw because we're removing Bitcoin from here and sending it elsewhere. I have a few options here that I can choose from. Yours may look different, but that's okay. In this example, we're not sending Bitcoin to another Crypto.com user, exchange or wallet, so we choose the bottom option, external wallet. I have a bunch of Bitcoin addresses already set up in here, but ignore them. We want to hit the little plus icon in the top right hand corner to add a new Bitcoin wallet address, and that's what we push next. So the first thing you will see is a message saying, sending to a non-Bitcoin wallet address will result in lost funds, which is exactly what I said earlier. If we click the address bar here, this is where we can paste in one of those long string of numbers and letters we saw earlier, but not that exact one because you'll just be sending Bitcoin to yourself, which is a waste of time, money and effort. Rather than copying and pasting in that long string of digits, there has to be a better way, right? Well, yes, there is. Hit this little box icon here and this will open up your phone's camera. And this is for scanning the QR code on the wallet address you want to send Bitcoin to. Okay, we've got this far, but now we need to grab the address that we want to send Bitcoin to. In Exodus, I need to find my Bitcoin wallet because remember, I can't send Bitcoin to this Ethereum address or this Binance coin address or even this Bitcoin Cash address. Yes, ladies and mental gen, Bitcoin Cash is a different thing to Bitcoin. Okay, I'll choose Bitcoin here and then receive because we're sending from Crypto.com and the Bitcoin will be received in Exodus. You can see there's a long string of characters and then a QR code beneath. It's up to you which way you do this, but the simplest and most foolproof way is to scan the QR code. With copying and pasting, there's room for error with a digit being changed or accidentally deleted, and we really don't want to take that chance, so it's better to scan the QR code, which we'll do right now. When we scan the code, the wallet address is auto-filled for us. Lovely. I prefer to double check things just to make sure, so I'll run my eyes past the first four or five numbers to see if they match and then do the same for the last four or five as well. If you're happy, you can name this wallet so it's saved for the next time you need it. Handy. Let's name this one Testicles. Then hit continue. If you have two-factor authentication set up, you'll need to enter your six-digit code. Then you're told to check your email and confirm your new address. Annoyingly, you have to do this every time you add a new wallet address. Go to your email address and then hit confirm withdrawal address button. You're redirected back to the Crypto.com app and now you can see the test wallet swinging there ready to be fondled. Go ahead and touch the test wallet address button and then you have to input the amount of BTC you want to send. 
You can toggle BTC and GBP around here for ease. So if you've agreed on a numeric figure with your friend, you can input that here. Let's say 350 pounds unless you have the exact BTC value you want to send. You can toggle back and then input the figure here. Let's do the minimum, 0.003 BTC. Once you have the correct amount of either BTC or fiat currency, you can add a note here if you like as a reminder to why you sent that BTC to your testing wallet address, or you can leave it blank and then hit withdraw. Now, after all this, you're almost there. You only have one more button to push, but, 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 but don't click away just yet. There's the issue of fees. Their BTC fee is a standard 0.0004 BTC, which I believe is the same if you're sending £30, £300 or £30,000. Now, don't quote me on that because I don't have 30 k to send. So at the top, it says we're sending 0.0026 BTC, which is actually less than the figure we originally put in, which is really annoying. So if we wanted to receive 0.003 BTC in our Exodus wallet, we now need to go back and change the amount and account for the fees. I love crypto.com, but I really hate this part. Hit the backwards arrow and go back. And now I'll recalculate my withdrawal and include 0.0004 for the fee and make this 0.0034 BTC. And then I'll hit withdraw again. And then as if by magic, the sending amount is now 0.003 and the total amount coming out of my crypto.com wallet is 0.0034 BTC. If you're cool with that, hit confirm. A few notable things you'll need to know other than the fees are the minimums. Annoyingly, the smallest amount you can withdraw from Crypto.com is 0.003 BTC. If you want to find a list of the fees for each cryptocurrency as well as the minimums you can send via their app, you need to go to the Crypto.com app's homepage and then hit the cog in the top left hand corner, then scroll down to fees and limits. Choose which section you want to jump to, here I'll show you the withdraw crypto limits. Scroll down and then find the crypto you want to send before going through the whole process of adding a wallet address, confirming by email and then getting to the final stage and then finding out you don't have the minimum. These limits are shown in the token's value, not the fiat value. So when it says 100 ADA, that doesn't mean 100 pounds. That means the value of 100 ADA at the time of the transfer, which is around 88 pounds right now. If you have any questions or think I left anything crucial out, be sure to leave those comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, is there something on the Crypto.com app that has left you scratching your head? If there is, let me know and maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful and if you want to see more Crypto.com tutorial content, then please subscribe to the Bitcoin Jones channel. Alright, see you next time.